Ida then created a tropical storm as it advanced across the southern United States. Meanwhile, in the Pacific, Nora degraded to natural depression after Mex affecting Mexico. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas met with Israeli Defense Minister Benny Gantz in the occupied West Bank and the first high-level meeting between the two sides in 10 years. Several rockets that have been uh, fired at Kabul's international airport the day before the deadline of for the U.S. troops to pull out of Afghanistan. From the headquarters of Telos or English in Havana, this is from the South. I am Ray Gomez. We will begin with the news. Ida then graded to a tropical storm as it advanced across the southern United States. In its path, uh, the cyclone had left a uh, wind dead and the entire city of New Orleans in darkness after damage to the power grid connections. The U.S. and National Hurricane Center reported that the warning remained in uh, effect for storm surge, damaging winds, uh, heavy rain, and flash flooding over southeastern Louisiana and southern Mississippi. Other moving is moving uh, northward after making landfall on Sunday as a powerful Category 4 hurricane with a maximum winds of 240 kilometers per hour. Seglin killed 50-year-old man in a town of Ascension Parish and left extensive damage across the large parts of Louisiana. President Joe Biden decreed a major disaster in Louisiana following the landfall wider. On Sunday night, uh, the head of the White House uh, declared that the government uh, is already working arduously to help the Gulf Coast region uh, recover as quickly as possible. With the declaration of major disaster, federal funds uh, are granted to guarantee the temporary location and repair of the homes uh, of those affected, as well as to locate uh, low-cost uh, loans uh, to cover damages in businesses and, uh, and uh, ensure the properties, uh, among others. Meanwhile, Cuban residents and civil protection forces uh, began to repair damage caused by the then Hurricane Ida, strong winds, uh, and current left uh, devastation in the western part of the island. According to authorities, uh, over 11,700 people were evacuated to be hosted in shelters. In addition, damage uh, to housing roofs, electricity, and the agricultural sector are also reported. More than 40 emergency groups are working to solve uh, the affectations of the cities of San Cristobal and Pinal del Rio. And in Mexico, storm Nora, dissipates uh, by the heavy rains and moisture from its remnants, will continue to spread northward and north northwardward during the next couple of days. The remnant of moisture from Nora will lift across the Nora Tuesday through Thursday, producing two to four inches of rainfall with isolated maximum amounts of eight inches. This may produce scattered flash of floodings and must lights. Beginning Wednesday, moisture associated with Nora will bring heavy rainfall and the potential for scattered flash of flooding to portions of the southwestern U.S. and central Rockies. As it passed uh, through six states of Mexico, the cyclone has left at least 44 municipalities damaged and 30 overflowing rivers. The Venezuelan government continues uh, with the humanitarian operations uh, to assist the victims in Merida and other states affected by the heavy rains. On Saturday, the government delivered the food, medicine, and biosecurity elements to communities uh, that are without communication in the state of Merida. A situation room uh, was also installed uh, to coordinate uh, the search and rescue efforts, attention to the victims, and the clearing of the access roads to assist uh, with the arrival of help. President Nicolas Maduro signed an emergency decree for 90 days due to the damage caused uh, by the floods, uh, which affected 85 uh, municipalities, killing 20 people and leaving 100 injured.
rescuers uh, kept uh, Dragon through a rubble in uh, Haiti two weeks after the deadly earthquake. More than 2,200 people have died and nearly 12,000 others injured, according to a provisional toll after the magnitude 7.2 earthquake of August uh, 14th. More than 130,000 homes were destroyed or damaged, along with other infrastructure such as roads. Construction vehicles uh, are still trying to remove uh, the debris, while Haitian families struggle in the aftermath of the earthquake. $187 million given by the UN will be used to provide shelter, water and sanitation, emergency health care, food protection and early recovery. After one week of torrential rains in western China, severe floods uh, have damaged uh, infrastructure and affected thousands of inhabitants by leaving them temporarily without shelter. Some of the areas are most ravaged uh, by the rains uh, are from the Jiangxi and Sichuan provinces, where almost 7,000 people have been evacuated to safety. No fatalities uh, were reported, and the meteorological observatories uh, have issued alerts in their corresponding areas. Torrential downpours are half a force at the affected communities to discontinue regular activities and seize uh, all traffic and commerce. Five tons of uh, fish and crustaceans are half a wash ashore over the past 10 days in Spain's uh, Mar Menor, once a lagoon paradise is slowly dying from uh, agricultural pollution. The sparkling salt waters uh, have spat out millions of dead or dying sea creatures uh, on the sandy beaches. Regional officials confirmed that five tons of remains uh, have uh, been removed, but huge numbers of sea creatures are still dying. Experts said that the fish is suffocated due to a lack of oxygen caused by uh, hundreds of tons of uh, nitrates from fertilizers uh, leaking into the waters. For years, a uh, run of water uh, loaded uh, with uh, nitrates uh, has entered uh, the lagoon, causing a vast uh, bloom of algae, or algae, which uh, as it dies uh, and decomposes, uh, decreases oxygen levels in the deep. What is clear is that a large part of the fauna of the seabed of the Mar Menor over a large area is dying from lack of oxygen and the toxic effects that lack of oxygen entails. Those who come here to La Manga, of course, many have stopped coming here because they can't even bathe anymore or walk through the Mar Menor because there are a lot of dead fish and the smell is horrible. We'll be right back after this very short break. Welcome back. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas met with the Israeli Defense Minister Ben Gantz in the occupied West Bank and the first uh, high-level meeting between the two sides in 10 years. This was the first meeting since uh, Prime Minister Naftali Bennett took office in June. Both diplomats uh, met in the city of Ramallah to discuss uh, security, civilian and economic issues. The meeting included the head of the Israeli military branch of response for civil affairs in the Palestinian territories, Hazana Aliyan, and Palestinian authorities, uh, Hussein al-Sheikh, and uh, intelligence chief, uh, Majid Farage. All this happened after uh, hours of Israeli letter returned from uh, Washington, D.C., where he met President Biden at the White House. Meanwhile, an aerial attack on Gaza was carried out uh, by the Israeli occupation forces. Local media informed uh, that the combat airship uh, launched uh, four missiles uh, in an area of uh, Shohada Street, south of the city. Authorities did not report victims, uh, however, the bombing caused damage uh, to the surroundings. Another similar event took place near the city of Bain Hanun, north of Gaza Strip, where as of the moment uh, there are no mentions of civil casualties or injuries.
In a film conversation with President Miguel Diaz Canel on Monday, President Xi Jinping said that China is willing to work uh, together with Cuba in pursuing common development. Diaz Canel briefed a Chinese uh, head of state on the recent domestic situation in Cuba, while Xi Jinping asked him to convey his greetings to Raul Castro. The China's leader underlined that the Beijing Havana relations have grown stronger over time and become a model of unity and cooperation among developing countries. For his part, Diaz can now thank China for its long-term and valuable supports to the island, including the supplies and vaccines that they provided in the fight against COVID-19, which uh, have shown the brotherly friendship between both nations. North Korea appears to have restarted its young nuclear reactor capable of producing plutonium for nuclear weapons. The International Atomic Energy Agency said the clues uh, such as the discharge of cooling water observed in early July indicated the plan is active. The International Organization said the findings published uh, in its annual report on Pyongyang's uh, nuclear program were deeply Dabbling and a cause uh, for a serious concern. The report also stated that there were signs of activity at the nearby radiochemical laboratory from uh, mid February until early July. The power plant uh, is used to make nuclear fuel. Uh, the radiochemical laboratory is used uh, to uh, reprocess uh, the fuel rods uh, from the plant into plutonium that can theoretically be used uh, in the manufacturing of nuclear weapons. Thousands of uh, Brazilian indigenous peoples continued their mobilizations against the policies of President Jair Bolsonaro, whom they accused of threatening their ancestral lands. Members of many ethnic groups at the call of the coordination of the indigenous peoples of Brazil set up uh, protest camps outside the Supreme Court in advance of an unexpected landmark uh, ruling on whether they can reclaim lost ancestral lands. The top court in Brasilia is set to decide whether to recognize indigenous rights to land occupied prior to 1988 when Brazil's constitution was ratified. If the Supreme Court accepts uh, the temporal thesis, it could uh, legitimize the violence against indigenous peoples and exacerbate conflicts in the Amazon rainforest and other regions. A collision of two river boats uh, in the Amazon in Peru has left at least uh, 11 passengers dead uh, and others missing. According to a st uh, government statement, uh, the accident took place uh, on the Hualiaga River when a boat uh, full of passengers crashed uh, into a freight uh, barge amid dense mist at dawn. The National Institute of Civil Defense confirmed the reason an uh, undetermined number of uh, missing persons, as well as 11 dead and six injured. Five fighters, uh, policemen, and sailors uh, are in charge of the search of those who disappeared. The passengers belonged to a religious community that was returning to the city of Yurimaguas after participating in a vigil in the jungle shown or known as Santa Maria. Some older children didn't know how to swim, and they started sticking on top of each other and they started drowning there, and those of us who could get out did so and started to swim. Cuba incorporated its first foreign vaccine in the fight uh, to immunize the population against the COVID-19 pandemic with uh, Chinese and farm jabs. The first province to use the foreign brand is Cienfuegos, uh, which started the inoculation on Sunday after readjusting health protocols uh, to face the new series of outbreaks. So far, officials, uh, official data reflects a little over 600,000 infections and 5,067 deaths. Authorities uh, in the Caribbean nation already vaccinated over 3 million people with Abdallah. 
Sovereigna O2 and Sovereigna Plus, the country's outmade vaccines, which are planned to be combined with the Sinopharm modules to boost uh, even more the vaccination rates. All these is coordinated in order to achieve uh, the ambitious figure of 70% uh, of immunized citizens as soon as possible. I feel fine. So far, I have not felt any symptoms, and the vaccine is effective. You have to have faith in it. I have a lot of confidence in all the vaccines that we get. I did come voluntarily without any kind of problem, because I know that I am going to get out of this, and it is going to work for me. Africa records are nearly 8 million confirmed cases of COVID-19 and more than 190,000 deaths. According to Africa Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, South Africa has by far the largest reported burden of cases in the continent. Its 2.7 million confirmed cases are about 35% of the 7.6 million reported by all Africa's 54 countries. South African uh, Health Minister Joe Fa'ahla said the nation's current church uh, driven by the Delta variant has been more prolonged than uh, the sharp uh, spikes and falls seen in the first two waves and highlighted that it is uh, urgent uh, for the country to vaccinate as many people as possible. Uh, before the next search, uh, which could be in November. China's ambassador to South Africa, Shen Chaodong, accused the U.S. intelligence community of political manipulation after a report in which Beijing was accused of with withholding key information about the origins of the COVID-19 pandemic. Like all countries in the world, China is a victim of COVID-19. And we all hope to identify the source of this virus as soon as possible and stop its spread as early as possible. First, origin tracing is about science. No country has a right to disregard life, politicize scientific issues, and for political interest. Tablet, our uh, regional director for Europe, Hans Kluger, warned uh, of a projection of 236,000 COVID-19 deaths in Europe by December 1st and said the stagnation of vaccination uptake in the region is of deep concern. Several countries are starting to observe an increased burden on hospitals and more deaths. Last week, there was an 11% increase in the number of deaths in the region, with one reliable projection expecting 236,000 deaths in Europe by December 1st. Vaccination is a right, but it's also a responsibility. The stagnation in vaccine uptake in our region is of serious concern. Now that public health and social measures are being relaxed in many countries, the public's vaccination acceptance is crucial. We have more stories coming up after this financial break. Welcome back. On Monday, several rockets uh, have been fired at Kabul International Airport a day before the deadline for the U.S. troops to pull out of Afghanistan. The White House, uh, which confirmed the attack, uh, said the, the evacuation wasn't interrupted and that uh, President Biden was briefed about the latest rocket attack at the Hamid Karzai Airport in Kabul. A U.S. official confirmed uh, that some of the rockets uh, were intercepted by a missile defense system. The ISIS armed group claimed responsibility for the attack.
On Sunday, nine members of a family, including six children, were killed in a U.S. drone strike targeting a vehicle in a residential neighborhood of Kabul. According to the U.S. Central Command, a defensive airstrike in the Afghan capital was carried out targeting a suspected ISIS-K suicide bomber who posed an imminent threat to the airport. Neighbors and witnesses estimated that, that there might have been up to 20 people killed in the strike. The U.S. military have just acknowledged that there were reports of civilian casualties and uh, warned uh, of possible further attacks as evacuations all went down. Despite this, uh, the White House uh, said that it will keep evacuating Afghans uh, and U.S. citizens from Kabul airport after last Thursday's suicide bombing that left uh, 175 people dead, including 13 U.S. citizens. My own little daughter, who was two and a half years old, was killed. Three children of my brother were also killed, two boys and a girl. My older brother's three children, who had just returned from work, were also killed. A young niece was also near the car who was killed. A guest of ours, who was also here, was killed in the accident, bringing the toll to ten. Ninety-five countries signed a joint statement of the U.S. State Department that seeks the pressure of Afghanistan into prolonging and the deadline of the withdrawal of the foreign intervention forces and collaborators set over August 31st. Washington promoted that petition signed by the Secretary General of NATO, Jens Stoltenberg, and denied a representative or the high the representative of foreign affairs of the European Union, Joseph Borrell, among other representatives from the almost 100 countries that took part in the initiative. The group said to have uh, received uh, guarantees uh, from the Taliban so that citizens uh, from uh, Europe, the U.S., and Afghan collaborators uh, who are in Kabul can travel safely out of the country. The Taliban had informed uh, that anyone with legal documentation and order would be able to leave as they placed uh, in regular commercial flights uh, with the promise of their integrity being preserved. Mexico received on Monday 86 asylum seekers from Afghanistan. This is the third group uh, that the Latin American nation harbors uh, since the beginning of the chaotic evacuation in Kabul's airport, according to the country's foreign affairs announcement. The newly arrived uh, group uh, is uh, mostly integrated by media workers and their families. Some of the 86 asylum seekers are Qatar and US, uh, UK citizens uh, who operated as correspondents for the Wall Street Journal. Mexican Foreign Affairs officials disclosed uh, that the newcomers uh, will be tended to by private sponsors and civil society organizations. Among the groups uh, previously harbored uh, by Mexico are a team of five female Afghan citizens internationally recognized for their research uh, in robotics and another set of media workers linked to the New York Times. Tonight, we are receiving one more group of Afghan nationals. They are employees and their families. Reporters on the instructions of Foreign Minister Marcelo Ebrard have coordinated with the federal government agencies, with the National Migration Institute, to receive them tonight. Mexico welcomes them with open arms, and we hope they can find the protection they so badly require. And we've come to the end of this news brief. Uh, remember, you can find these and many other stories on our website at Telezor English. And you can also follow us on social media for all the latest news. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Telegram. For Telezor English, I'm Ray Gomez. I thank you for watching.